canvas and paint in my mind. Colors dance, spill outside the lines. I refuse to settle. Never Tonight, um, I was thinking of some different types of Christmas projects that I could show that would be quick, easy, fairly inexpensive. Um, and so I decided I would alter some compacts and these won't take very long. So I've got two and I'm going to show you two different ways that I thought would be cute on them. So we're going to go ahead and start with this one. Okay. So I hope everyone is doing good. Had a happy Halloween. We are on to November, which means Thanksgiving, of course, and Christmas. So this first th thing I wanted to show you, this is what the compact looks like. It's shiny on the top. And as you can see, don't look at me because I don't have any makeup or anything on. Um, very shiny on the top. So you could leave it as it is and, you know, it's an extra mirror. But if you open it, it has a mirror on either side as well. So you don't really need the shiny top. And the bottom looks like that. So it's, you know, got some grip to it. So we are going to alter the top here. And the first thing I want to do is figure out how I want to lay that. Now, I thought this would lay nicely this way. So that's the way I'm going to do it. But what I want to do is I want to put microbeads. And these are new to the store. This color is called grass, and it's green. And I thought that would look pretty because of the green leaf. And because um, I thought it would be good for someone who I know who likes green. So the very first thing I want to do is I want to just put a coat of glue on here and I'm just squeezing some glue on. You can use whatever you want, whatever's your favorite. Uh, looking for my brush. There it is. Okay, and I'm just going to move that around inside this little area. And it's got a little lip on it so the glue won't run out. And I'm just coating the entire inside. Okay, and I'm just making sure that every spot is covered. And I think in order to make it level, I'm going to need just a little bit more. So I'm going to squeeze a little bit more in there. I'm just going to let it kind of go where it wants to. Okay, and then I'm just going to take the microbeads. Hey, Rhonda, and sprinkle these in here. Now, don't be like me because I didn't even think about it till just now. Use something, you know, like you would for glitter so that you have a way to put it off. And there you see it's covered nicely in the uh, microbeads. Okay, so I've got that on and now I'm just going to take some glue. And you might want to use E6000. I love this journey glaze and it's really strong once it dries. So I'm using this. Um, on metals, I always try to use a strong glue. Fabri-Tac is great on papers and things like that. I don't love it on metals. I will say that. I'm just putting some on the raised areas of the back here. Okay. And now I can just flip it over. and place that about where I want it. And I think I want it about right there. All right, now I see a little area here where I didn't get any microbeads, so I'm gonna put some more glue in. And add a piece of paper. I'm just gonna use this envelope here. And add a little bit of microbeads right in that corner. Okay. Okay, and that's what we've got so far. Now it needs to dry, so I'm going to set that one aside. And how easy was that, though? And that's the major part of the project. There's only a, bit, a little bit left to do. Now, good thing I have Sarah. She can sleep for me tomorrow. Get all these microbeads up. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the second one. And on this one, instead of microbeads, I'm actually going to use lace. And I decided I really liked this high heel shoe. So, 
On this one, I'm going to cover both sides. So what I need to do, first I need to find my scissors, is cut this to the cut this to length. Okay, and I want it to be so that the points are kind of like that. So I'm going to cut this off about right there. This would be great to do with your um, your scrap fabrics. Okay, and I'm going to need another piece about the same size for the other side. I'm going to go ahead and cut that off now. So we've got probably a total of maybe five inches, maybe five or six inches there total. So you don't need very much lace for this, and you could really get away with just doing one side even. Oh, both sides of the compacts. So I actually need four pieces of this. I don't know what I was thinking. So we've got about maybe a foot total. Okay, so I wanna find my center, and that's about right there. And I am going to use my Fabri-Tac now on this. I'm going to turn it over to the wrong side, and I'm just going to put some Fabri-Tac where the um, embroidery is. I start with that, and that will get it tacked down for me. I'm just spreading it on there. Okay, go back and find about where my middle is. So that's about right there. Now I'm going to take my other piece and do the same thing, but go this way with it. I'm going to put it opposite of them like that. Okay. And that is why I did not cut it exactly to size so that I can match this up and then go in and cut. Okay, and I'm going to turn it over and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, and now I can turn this over and I'm going to go ahead and cut around the edge here. Okay, and you want this to be fairly straight when you're cutting, so you know, pay attention to what you're doing. You don't want it to hang over to the sides too much. All right, so now that's what we have to begin with. And um, if I were not here at class, I would be really taking my time to make sure this was nicely even all the way around. But it's going to be fine because we are going to use, just from my stash, I have some flat back pearls that I'm going to go around the edge with. So I'm going to start in the back here. And you don't want to go on the sides because then when you open it, the hinge, will it'll be in the way of the hinge. So I'm just going to go around the top edge here. And I'm going to go ahead and use my Fabri-Tac again because it's a, actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to use my hot glue because this is a class that will stick and dry faster. So that's why I plugged it in. I'm going to start here in the back, put a little, little tiny bit of glue and start my flat back pearls. Okay, I'm just going to go around the edge. Okay, so I've got my pearls around the edge, and I'm going to do the same thing to the other side, but I'm going to do that later when we're off camera. So back to where did my high heel go there? And then I thought I would put this right in the center there, and that would make a really cute little compact. And like I said, these are quick, easy projects. Um, 
Let me go back to this glue that you can do for Christmas presents that would be inexpensive. Every woman needs a compact in her purse, you know, needs a mirror. Um, we may not use it every day, but we do from time to time. And when you need it, you need it. So, okay, I'm gonna get this glue on here. So these would be cute and handy to have in your purse. Okay, and there you have it. There's the second one. Just a cute little easy project, very inexpensive. I love these high heels. I think they're so um, cute. Now what you could do on this, you could do the same thing and put your pearls around the edge, but I think instead what I want to do, and here it is, I don't sell this in the store, although I have thought about getting it. Um, it's the Inca Gold, and this particular one is the Old Silver. And I chose that because it's kind of a light gold, so it would blend the gold and the silver together. And it comes like this, and it's real creamy, and you just take it and rub it on all the way around the edges. And I'm gonna, not gonna do it real heavy, I just want a little bit of an accent. Like I said, this is just to give it a little bit of that blend between the gold and the silver. You do not have to do this. And it's like a wax, so it does have to dry for a minute. And then after it dries, you just shine it up. Okay, so that's all I'm going to put on is just that little bit. Now, if you guys get this, I always keep this inside thing. I only lift it part way and lift it because it helps keep it from drying out. Um, I know a lot of people put baby wipes and stuff in there. I find that's not necessary if you do that. So just an FYI. All right, let me wash my hands real quick. Now these microbeads come in um, it's quite a few colors. I've got blue and gold and copper and silver and black, green, pink. Um, they're really awesome. Okay, now I'm going to attempt to put this back on here now. Stick it down in there. There we go. Okay, and that's as far as I'm going to go on it because it's still wet. But there you go. You can see really easy, fun little Christmas gift. Um, very inexpensive. Uh, I, less than, I would say less than $5 total. I'm not really sure I'd have to add everything up, but somewhere between 5 and $7. And you've got a really cute little Christmas gift. So there's that one. And then we have this one. And that's it, guys. There are numbers of ways you could alter these uh, compacts. You could use just lace. Um, you could use just microbeads and, and put their name in it, you know, with little tiles. Uh, just a lot of ways you could use it. And you could even go so far as to, you know, add something in the corner here. I'm not going to put this because it would, it would kind of detract from that. But you could put a little... Um, pearl or you know a rhinestone or something or their initial if you could find one of those little initial charms would be really cute lots of different ways you could dress this up and add to it this is just the very basics and i wanted to share it with you because i thought they'd make cute christmas presents all right guys it was a quick and easy class like i said 30 minutes and we've got two christmas gifts done all right guys that is it for me tonight Rhonda will be back next week I'm not sure what she's making, but um, we hope you join us 7 o'clock Central every Tuesday. All right, have a great night. You get one heartbeat song. Take it seriously. This is your mission.